Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our soon no longer delayed Coffee and Headlines broadcast brought to you every morning here on Facebook, except for Sundays. Today is a pleasure to be here with you because I can almost taste the new computer. You guys have been great. We're going to get a new computer. We're going to get it installed, and we are no longer going to experience these crazy delays and pretty, pretty soon, we are going to get back to the good old days when things were fun and and everything worked okay and so forth and so on. So, today is Thursday, July 7th. It is a pleasure to see you all. Um, I see you're all sending a special, um, special good mornings and special hellos to each other. I love it. <laughs> um, yes, here we are. Coffee and Headlines, our favorite get together where we exchange knowledge and curiosity and information and questions about Puerto Vallarta. We take a look at headlines from our city, our state, our country. We combine all this information to have more connected, more fulfilling lives here in our city as a community of English speaking locals. Um, it is a pleasure to get together with you as always. And as always, we encourage everyone and anyone that is joining us for the first time to kindly um, write the word new and we will give you a nice little welcome. Thank you for the comments of um, about my necklace. This is my curly Q. It's, it's an old one. I've had this for a while, but I never chose to wear it before because I used to think it's too ostentatious. But you know what? This is what I do for fun. So I'm going to wear my necklaces. So there. Um, so we talked about the welcomes. We have to talk about the uh, important things. If you have an important statement to make during the broadcast, it helps a great day, a great deal. If you add a capital letter Q and we will put your comment on the screen. Although sometimes you guys write really funny thing. One more day and you join us elder people. I know, I know. I'm turning 60 tomorrow. And you know what? I'm excited about 60. You know why? Because starting tomorrow, I'm going to be able to, well, I don't have a, a senior citizen card, but I'm going to be able to go to the ETN bus counter and say, take me to Guadalajara. Damn it. And give me a discount because I'm a senior citizen. So I am excited about that. Who knew? Today, today we um, have interesting news. Uh, we talked about the magic phrase a few days ago. And uh, maybe the magic phrase is not as effective as we thought it would be today. Oh, my God. Kathleen Romano just turned 60 today. Happy birthday, Kathleen. I'm with you tomorrow. So let's go to Guadalajara on a discount. Damn it. 
I think it's a good thing that we can do. Anyhow, today's news, we revisit the magic phrase. We take a look at another state in Mexico that um, has changed um, their COVID face mask mandates. And um, what else? Oh, my God. We went and met the sugar queen yesterday, and we tried the cakes in a jar. So we're going to give you... Uh, the whole blow by blow on that experience. And of course, we went to Raymond's Artisan Bakery, so we absolutely had to do a little walk around. And I came home with the largest, largest oatmeal cookie I've ever seen. It's still in the refrigerator, but it was like, it was huge. I'd never seen a cookie this big, and I think it'll take me five minutes to eat it. <laughs> Anyhow, let us get started. We also have information about... Um, upcoming events, and we have confirmed a date with Gina Hendricks for our next meet and greet, and I will tell you when that will be after the weather. So let's get started. Previously in, oh my God, where is my, where's my news chingadera? Hold on, hold on, show that. Yes, previously in Coffee and Headlines, we met Maria Elena Curiel. She is the council member here in Puerto Vallarta that was challenged because of nepotism. She has her three sons in the city payroll, plus her daughter-in-law, plus her spouse. And we learned that this costs the city over 200,000 pesos a month. And she even acknowledged the nepotism. She said, well, of course it's nepotism, but um, they worked in the campaign, she said. They worked in the campaign. So we figured maybe, yes, but a boom, maybe they worked in the campaign is this magic phrase that allows you to get away with all kinds of things at City Hall. Well, guess what? As of yesterday, City Hall has announced that the relatives are no longer on the payroll. Tómala. Tómala. That's what you get when you abuse power in one way or another. And of course, at the same time, Jalisco's IPEJAL, or Retirement Fund Institute, is still investigating the earnings of our municipal tourism director, Ludwig Estrada, who, as we've learned, has been collecting a retirement pension since 2018 and is currently in the city payroll. The statement made by the Institute's director, Hector Pisano Ramos, was in all retirement fund systems. It is anticipated that if a person returns to work, the pension is suspended. So why is our municipal tourism director getting a salary and getting his retirement fund? We'll have to wait and see if the magic phrase works for him or not. In other news, as of today, the use of face masks in open and enclosed spaces is mandatory again in the state of Tabasco. Not here in Jalisco. This is in the state of, Jalas of Tabasco. We are keeping track of all these places just out of curiosity. As we know, here in Puerto Vallarta, we are, or here in Jalisco, we are not, um, we are not, uh, implementing any changes in, uh, in, in face mask use indoors and outdoors. But as informed citizens, we know what we have to do, and we know that it, we are better off uh, continuing to follow face mask use wherever we go for our own health and for the health of those around us. So kudos if you are being mindful of your face mask use. And um, we'll see what happens moving forward. Uh, -ba 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 -bum -bum -bum. Time for the weather. Yes, that's what's next. Oh, no. I was waiting for Carrot Weather to have some kind of snarky statement about Boris Johnson. But no. All it says is, these clouds are taking over our skies. Go back where you came from, clouds. It is 28 degrees right now. Feels like 32. 
Humidity is at 87%. And our Fahrenheit temperature is 82 degrees. Our weather forecast for today says rain in the evening and overnight with a high of 31 and a low of 24. Tomorrow, Friday, rain and humid throughout the day with a high of 30 and a low of 25. And Saturday, rain in the evening and overnight with a high of 31 and a low of 24. Sounds like the usual weather to me, at, at least for this time of the year. But we have other headlines that I wish to share with you. Let me set this up. For starters, I want to let you know that I bumped into Gina yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have confirmed the date for our next meet and greet at Whiskey Kitchen here in Colonia Versalles. This will be on Thursday, July 21st from 7 to 9. It is later than the one we had before, before we met, I think, from 4 to 6. But um, I must say that Doing it a little later is hopefully going to be a little cooler for us to enjoy the restaurant. So Thursday, July 21st from 7 to 9 p.m. at um, at, uh, at uh, Gina Hendrix's Whiskey Kitchen. I'm sorry, I get distracted because I'm seeing your comments and I'll get to your comments in a second. Uh, so I won't, I won't get distracted anymore, I promise. So I hope to see many of you there. I hope to see some of you there. I know that on Thursdays, Gina has live music, so it should be a fun thing to do. Uh, moving right along with other announcements, I have a bunch of fun announcements. This made me so very happy. I was looking through... Um, Facebook the other day, and I noticed that our dear friend Michael Buford posted that he now has an air-conditioned enclosed area at Siam PV here in, um, in, in our side of town, not Emiliano Zapata. Emiliano Zapata has always had air-conditioned, but the other location on Avenida de los Tules uh, near Fluvial now has air conditioning, and this makes us very, very happy for Michael, but also very, very happy for our own enjoyment. I also want to give you a reminder that um, uh, Carmen Porras and her wife Claudia are hosting a Chile en Nogada cooking class. This is coming up on Monday, July 11th. And I want to remind you that she has a special prize for Coffee and Headlines members. So I'm going to include this in today's show notes in case you are intrigued about learning how to make the most emblematic um, Mexican dish. And why is it emblematic? Well, I um, would love to tell you. If you write the word Chile in your comment, I will revisit our crash course in Chiles and Nogada. Not how to make them, but how and where they came from. So uh, there you have it. And now let's see what else we have. I found out this morning that the 12th Festival del Ceviche y Aguachile is coming back on Sunday, 31st of July. So this is yet another opportunity to enjoy um, another popular dish in this part of Mexico. Ceviche, as we know, is um, fish that is cured with lemon and lime juice and all kinds of other chingaderas. And Aguachile is similar, only spicier. So this is a great opportunity to sample these two dishes and uh, what else do we have? Oh, a friend. I know nothing about this, but this made me very, very happy. A dear friend of mine uh, sent me this photograph showing that there is an Indian restaurant and bar coming soon to Isla Rio Cuale. I tried to find them on Facebook and I didn't find anything, but um, I am going to be so excited about this because we love Indian food. And I am just thrilled to learn that a new Indian restaurant is opening up. If anybody has a scoop on this, please feel free to let us know in your comments. And of course, um, well, we went and visited with the Sugar Queen yesterday. And we went to Raymond's Bakery. And I would love to show you how that went. Hola, hola. 
This is the torta and taco stand that is right across from my house. So it's a good thing because we are never lacking places to eat. Right here is a place called Mariscos Veneno, which I think I've eaten there once. I've never been too keen on them because they're loud at night sometimes. Not fun. But this is La Vena, and we are approaching Francisco Villa. And of course, we are headed to Raymond's Artisan Bakery to check out Peggy and her cakes in a jar. Just to see what that is all about. Here is Francisco Villa, of course. And I see in the distance that Whiskey Kitchen is open for breakfast. I tell you, it's very close to my house. Danger. Dangerously close. And I think, well, we're not gonna rush this crossing. It can be a little dicey. Come on cars, show a little bit of kindness to a pedestrian. Okay, this is it. Okay. So as we cross the street, we are now officially in Versailles. We walked down the street a number of times, but as long as I'm walking to Raymond's, we might as well whip out the camera. Would you notice anything different? Probably anything different? Probably not. Although I will say that the trees just look gorgeous this time of year. Right here on the corner, of course, is Ernesto's restaurant. We've raved about their food many, many times. Love their tortilla soup. They have amazing tortilla soup. <laughs> and look at the size of the tree that is half inside of Ernesto's property and half outside. I mean, it is just enormous. It's huge. And that is a feature of several neighborhoods in this part of Puerto Vallarta, there are a lot of trees that have been here for a long time and people defend their trees. Nobody wants to see a tree cut down when a new development comes into the neighborhood. So it is nice to see that for the most part, people are mindful of the trees that not only adorn our neighborhoods, but they also keep the temperature cooler during the summer months or so I've read <laughs> <laughs> one more block one more block Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Here's Wolf's Veterinary. A lot of people like it. He specializes in doggies. And of course, here's Noah's Cafe. A lot of people love this place. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Very this is popular. Noah's. And we are almost at Raymond's Artisan Bakery. Yay! And here we are. 
here is Artisan Bakery. Are you Peggy? Somebody just told me about you and I said, oh, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here. Hey. hey it's How are you, Glee? Of course. You are good to see you. It's popular, obviously. It's, 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 it, what is it, International Kissing Day or something? Is it? Wow. Yes. See, so you could just walk up to strangers and swap some spit and... Well, that a girl. <laughs> you know, if you want to swap the spit, but you can give them a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I see. She said that. I'm like, yeah. I only tongue on Thursdays. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. That's what I could say. So, yeah, so you are Peggy. I am Peggy. And what's the story? About the cake jars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I do. I've lived here now eight years, and I've done cakes, regular cakes, cookies, that type of thing. Patty cakes and. You know, and well, not really, but if you're cute, I'll play patty cake with okay. you. Okay. Well, and the sugar the queen. Stage. Oh my God, the sugar queen. Wait, wait, wait queen a second. I thought I was a sugar queen. I'm sorry. You're obviously not as sweet as me. Uh -huh. Fair enough. <laughs> you might. And be. When you eat these, you get even sweeter. Yes. yes. So yeah. how does it? Oh, you okay? So give me, give me the, the give me the right. the so spiel. The, the little jars are a hundred pesos. Little jars and if are hundred pesos. Bring me back the clean jar. I will give you back twenty pesos. Okay. And the big jars are two hundred pesos, and if you bring me back the clean jar, I'll give you fifty pesos. I'm trying to recycle, you know. Shit. See, I like to crochet, and I like to you crochet motives. I can keep the jar. Can I tell you, I got, they come in 40 to a box, and the first box I had 31 gone and not come back. And I was like, but I love a little jar. So Everybody like loves a little jar. The jars are wonderful. Oh, uh oh, oh. See, oh, Glee, Glee, Glee brings her back. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we have to pass that around. So, where, you're here on Wednesdays. Yes. Are you elsewhere? No, I work from home. Good for you. So, if it goes to my case, I, I need time. To yes. I mean, not right now. Mm -hmm. But I can hold on to your card in case yes. we want to let people know. Oh, see. Ah, there's a website and everything for the sugarqueen.net. I know a couple of queens out there that will want to fight for that title. <laughs> and they can get dicey. Hey, there's some, mine, mine is the sugarqueen.net. And, and I couldn't get .com because a couple of queers had it. But now it's available, and I'm not going to pay anybody to change. Of course you're not. Place. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me do a quick walk around, because I don't know that people have ever seen Raymond's um, in the broadcast. Right. And I will take, is that German chocolate it cake? Is. It I'm is. I'm going to take that. <laughs> okay. okay, but first, here we are. This is Raymond's yeah. shop, and he has all this wonderful bread that is cooked daily. And I see whole wheat loaf and focaccia and sourdough loaf. And the beautiful thing is that Ola, they have a bread slicer here. So if you want, oh my God, they have ginormous chocolate chip cookies. They're huge. I'm going to have to buy one of those. And look at this. There are croissants, chocolate and apple strudel and sticky. I'm going to definitely get a sticky bun. And, and then there's this place over here where you can find preserves, which are beautiful, different types of salsas, artisan preserves, salsas, croutons, and all kinds of things. So there you have it. This is the experience here at Artisan Bakery. Definitely check it out. And definitely, if you want to have interesting discussions with the Sugar Queen, the Sugar Queen is here on Wednesdays. And this is all that I have to share with you today. I'm going to get my sugar fix and I will see you again soon. Ciao. I tell you that sugar queen, she's, she was feisty and I loved it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is how yesterday after the broadcast went, I came home with my, uh, I came home. Okay. See, this is how bad I am with sweets. I came home with a cinnamon bun and a ginormous cookie that I haven't tried and a German chocolate cake in a jar that I had in the evening for 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 dinner. It was it was a sweet sweet dinner and it was really really tasty. So, the fun factor 
in those cakes in a jar is awesome. The flavor is awesome. Oh, and while we were there, while we were there schmoozing with Peggy, she whipped out a bag of of oatmeal cookies that she made and she let us sample one and they were delicious. So power to Peggy for baking from home and making all these things. Needless to say, I will share her website with you all so that you can check it out um, in the show notes for today. And now let us take a quick look at your comments, your wonderful good mornings, which I love to read. Thank you for the remarks on the on the on the necklace much appreciated and here's raymond of course raymond it's such a pleasure to read you and it is so nice to have a chance to go and visit your shop and have fun eating your stuff which is so sweet and wonderful let's see what else we have uh, hi everybody especially kate okay I'll say especially Kate as well. I love it. Do, 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 love the green and yellow color. Thank you very much, Patty. Everything is meaningful that's meaningful in my house is either green or orange, except for my mind. My mind is whatever color it happens to be. Uh, let's see what else we have. Da 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 da. da. Thank you, Maggie, as in Peggy. 60 is a new 35. I'll, I, I will drink to that later on today. Um, oh, thank you very much for that, Kate. You know, first was the COVID, and then, of course, I've been so totally distracted trying to have fun with you. And while we're, you know, dealing with all these technical issues, but again, your generosity and your kindness has overwhelmed me tremendously. We will have a new computer installed sooner than you think. And it's all because you empower this and you guys are just wonderful. I'm, I'm never going to get tired of being grateful. Let's see what else. Uh... <laughs> Get me to Guadalajara at a discount, damn it, should be the new magical tourism slogan. You know, I will use it wherever I can. I don't even know what the senior cost of the bus is for ETN, but I will definitely research it the next time that I buy tickets. Uh, let's see. Um, those cookies are killers on your waistline. I know, but, you know, life is short. Eat cookies. Um... Chris asks an interesting question. Has the bridge been repaired from the truck damage? Excellent question. I will tell you, Chris, that I went to Encanto on Saturday night to catch a show, and it was still daylight. So from Encanto, I could not see any sign of disrepair. So I would hope to believe that the city very quickly fixed that up, unless it's on the other side of the bridge and I failed to see it. But I think... I think I think it's 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 back. Yay. Uh, Colleen chimes in on Artisan Bakery where we were so happy to find the bakery. Sourdough bread is fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, let's see what else we have. How about reimbursing the the gains? I think Betsy Ann is here talking about the salary that our good tourism bureau person or maybe the other lady uh, had acquired. I don't know exactly how they're going to resolve that, but hopefully it'll it'll have a positive outcome. Clearly, the fact that now city officials cannot get away with as much uh, chingaderas as they used to in the past is a good thing. Catherine says, thank you for the El Negrito recommendation. I was missing the food from when I lived in those areas. Thank you for going, Catherine. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope they get a lot of business because we love the fact that there are opportunities to learn more about regional food from Mexico. That makes me so super happy. Um, let's see what else. I appreciate it if you would spell out the name of the airline that has started or continued flights five times a day. Uh, I think it was Aeromar. 
It is in the show notes. Uh, and yes, they have a specific website. Oh, Brad answered your question, Spencer. That is absolutely awesome. Yes, Iromar has a website. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, I'm sure you can find it and Google it. Um, I see a number of people intrigued about chiles and nogada and how they became fabulous. So I'll make myself a mental note to find my information about chiles and nogada and share it with you. It'll be a pleasure. And thank you very much, Heather, for uh, filling in the blanks. The Indian restaurant is going to be where Babel Bar used to be. I am so exciting. I am so excited. Ramona adds that it'll be opening in September. I love it. And then Troy asks, has El Rio Barbecue opened at a new location? Any plans that you've heard of? I haven't heard of anything that is confirmed. And I have not seen anything published. So um, no, no news as of yet. Let's see what else. Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 mm, mm. Michal comments on the big tree at Ernesto's. Of course, Michal doesn't realize that I decided to video that walk because a similar walk is what connected us with each other in the first place. I miss you, my dear Michal. I'm still taking good care of your plants, which continue to have a drinking problem, but we can handle the pressure. No problems. Um, are the cakes baked in the glass jar? I couldn't answer that question, Sheila. I don't know what the mechanics of the cakes are. All I can tell you is that I opened I took a spoon, I ate, and my whole body tingled. It was almost like having sex. <laughs> Where is this thing when you need it? Yeah. Let's see what else we have. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. Buenos dias, Paco. It's Sarah, your favorite groupie. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Raymond says, thank you for visiting the bakery yesterday. Thank you for the extra kilos, Raymond. I'm going to continue to enjoy my purchases today. Uh, let's see what else. Da, 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 da. I think we're there. Yes, we are pretty much there with today's comments and suggestions and all that stuff. Thank you so very much. As always, it is a pleasure to get together with you, and it is a pleasure to answer your questions and take a look at what you're curious about and what not. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll be back here, as usual, with more news, more headlines, more questions, more interesting factoids, and if all goes well, I will prepare our Chiles and Nogada information for tomorrow. If not, Saturday at the latest. So between now and then, stay kind stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you again sometime soon. Have a great day.